This video of Hero Notes is based on Joseph Campbell's monomyth from his book, The Hero with a Thousand Faces. A hero's journey starts out with some type of extraordinary birth or origins. Um, this could be the, that the hero's parents are royalty or gods, or that they come from some mysterious background. Um, nobody's quite sure where the hero came from. But at some point during the hero's life, he or she feels like they just don't quite fit in and there's something more for them. So then they experience the call to action, which would be a first occurrence in a chain of events that will separate the hero from home and family. Anything that would show the person that there's more to this world than what they're currently experiencing. But then usually once someone is given the opportunity uh, to go somewhere and prove themselves, they have all kinds of reasons for why they wouldn't want to do it. Um, the timing's not quite right, it's going to cost them too much, and they may be afraid and they just are loaded with excuses for why this can't really be accomplished. But then at some point the hero or potential hero meets a guardian or guide. This is someone that gives them wise words, training, or something that will help them along the path that, that might arise. Once the hero has that and he or she decides to go on the path, um, there's a threshold. This point of no return is usually some kind of obstacle that pushes them uh, closer to their goal or they would fail completely and we'd never hear about them because nobody tells stories about people that aren't heroes generally. After the threshold, the hero faces a number of trials. Uh, anything along the way that is a stumbling block to the final battle or conflict. This is also called the initiation. Once the hero has faced a number of trials, they get to this final battle and achieve a decisive victory. The evil or whatever circumstance that they were looking to overcome has finally been defeated. But that's not it. Sometimes they'll have to get home. And the trip home can be sometimes just as perilous as the trip to defeating the evil to begin with. So the hero begins that path. Once the hero returns, they usually bring back something um, in the form of a benefit to the community. Either the people have been freed, there's something that will heal some kind of sickness, the hero has achieved uh, either the wealth or riches that uh, were sought after. See if you can think of how heroes you're aware of fit into this mold. One of the reasons you can see this diagram play itself out over and over in all kinds of stories, if they're from movies, comic books, religious texts, um, mythology, um, is because our own lives may fit into this model as well. This is one of the oldest stories that we as humans tell. And it's that connection to our own lives that makes it so popular today.